Hello and welcome to the Cybersecurity Awareness Training Course. Whether it's for work or for play, everyone uses computers daily. And considering the amount of personal information and important data we keep on our computers, it's a very good idea to learn how to stop someone unwanted from accessing it. In this lesson of the Cybersecurity course, you will learn about cybersecurity, its types, and why it's so important. Additionally, you will also learn about cyber crimes, cyber attacks, and the legislation related to cybersecurity in the UK. What is cybersecurity? Types of cybersecurity. Importance of cybersecurity. Cyber crime and cyber attacks and UK cybercrime legislation. So, let's begin. Let's start by explaining what cybersecurity actually means. Cybersecurity refers to the practice of securing networks, devices, and data from damage, loss, or unwanted access. Basically, cybersecurity is the protection of hardware, software, and data. And by protection, we mean not only ensuring the information's confidentiality, integrity and accessibility, but also the ability to defend and recover from power outages, system failure and cyber criminal attacks. Now that you know what cybersecurity means, let's talk about a few of the different types of cybersecurity so that you have a better idea. Network security application security, information security, operational security. Let's discuss network security first, as it's often the first thing people think about when they hear the word cybersecurity. Everything's online nowadays, and chances are you spend most of your time online as well. Network security refers to the protection of computer networks and network accessible resources. Network security is essential because it protects you from any type of unauthorized intrusion, including malicious insiders. A basic example of network security is an antivirus system. Without network security, hackers can very easily gain access to information stored on your network. This can be disastrous for big companies who store sensitive information in their networks, and for individuals, this means third parties would gain access to personal information that you don't want others to have access to. Now, let's talk about application security. To get a better idea of application security, think back to whenever you tried to log into your social media or bank account. What did you have to do? That's right, you had to input your login information like ID and a password. This is a form of application security. Application security is the process of developing, adding and testing security features within applications to prevent security vulnerabilities against threats such as unauthorized access and modification. Authentication, authorization, encryption, logging and application security testing are all examples of application security features. Your company most probably requires you to go through some sort of application security when you access their assets. This could be you entering a password to access your work computer, or logging into the back end of your company's website by inputting a unique password. Data is often the most valuable resource a company has, and information security refers to exactly that, the protection of sensitive information from unauthorized activities, including inspection, modification, recording, and any disruption or destruction. And lastly, we're going to talk about operational security. Simply put, operational security is a process that prevents sensitive information from getting into the wrong hands. Here's an example of operational security. Suppose you work as a writer at a company that publishes online blogs on its website. Now, you as a writer don't need access to all the options in the website's back end, so the company chooses to limit your access to only the features you need to carry out your job. 
This is how operational security works. It prevents data from getting into the wrong hands by limiting access to it and putting protocols in place. Now that you know what cybersecurity is and have an understanding of its many different types, let's dive into why you should learn about cybersecurity and its importance. In today's world, most of our everyday lives are spent online. Be it from working 9 to 5 or scrolling social media during leisure, you're always connected to the internet somehow. From bank accounts to family pictures, almost everyone has some sort of important data stored on a computer somewhere. Unfortunately, most people still know very little about how the internet works and how easy it is for criminals to gain access to personal information. This lack of understanding of cybersecurity makes it very easy for criminals to prey on people who don't know any better. That is why cybercrime is as widespread as it is now. And because people don't have sufficient knowledge about cybersecurity, it makes it that much easier for criminals to do what they want. As more often than not, criminals get little to no resistance from their targets. Think about what could happen if someone got hold of your bank account's information. They could just steal all your money and literally make you penniless, and you would be unable to do anything about it. Think about what would happen if hackers took down your entire online business, and what would happen if all your business secrets suddenly became public. It would be a disaster. Since digital assets are both valuable and vulnerable, cybersecurity is vital. With so much of our daily lives being online and with so much at stake, there's absolutely no excuse for not learning about cybersecurity. So far, you've learned about what cybersecurity is, its different types, and its importance. Now we will discuss cybercrimes and cyber attacks. Cybercrime is defined as any criminal conduct involving a computer or digital media and a network, most commonly the internet. Anyone can become a criminal through cybercrime, including those who are technically inept, lack the confidence to challenge another person, lack the guile of a fraudster, or are otherwise unable to be criminals in the traditional sense. The computer provides them with a shield to hide behind, as well as the ability to attack without being seen or heard, being near the victim, or having any relationship with the victim. On the other hand, a cyber attack is any attempt to obtain unauthorized access to a computer, computing system, or computer network with the goal of doing damage. Cyber attacks seek to disable, disrupt, destroy, or control computer systems, as well as change, block, delete, modify, or steal data stored on these systems. Any individual or group can conduct a cyber attack from anywhere, using one or more different attack tactics. Cybercrime is common on the internet nowadays. As time passes, cyber risks are becoming more and more difficult to identify as cybercrime becomes more sophisticated. But that's not to say there's nothing being done about it. In fact, there are lots of cybercrime legislation in the UK that exists to deter and protect people from such crime. We'll now discuss a few of those legislations. The Computer Misuse Act 1990, or CMA, is the fundamental cybercrime legislation in the United Kingdom. It addresses many malicious attacks or offences against computer systems, such as hacking and ransoming. This is the act under which all cybercriminals are brought to trial for cybercrime attacks. The Computer Misuse Act 1990 defines the following as illegal and also provides penalties for the offences. Offence Unauthorised or malicious tampering with material stored on a computer. Penalty for the cybercriminal. A six-month sentence in prison with a possible fine of £5,000. Offence Intention to commit a cybercrime. Penalty, 
a five-year prison sentence or unlimited fine. Offense – modifying, removing, or ransoming data. Penalty – a five-year prison sentence or unlimited fine. Offense – aiding in computer misuses. Penalty – a ten-year sentence or unlimited fine. The Data Protection Act 2018 aims to regulate how information is used by organisations, businesses or the government. This is part of the United Kingdom's General Data Protection Regulation, or GDPR, a stringent privacy and security law that governs how information is used, handled and stored in needs to shield users and businesses. Fraud Act 2006 Offences under the Fraud Act 2006 apply to a wide range of cyber frauds by focusing on the underlying dishonesty and deception. The Act provides for a general offence of fraud with three ways of committing it, which are by false representation, by failing to disclose information, and by abuse of position. It creates new offences of obtaining services dishonestly and of possessing, making and supplying articles for use in fraud. Let's recap everything you've learned in this lesson. In the beginning, you learned about the meaning of cybersecurity, and then you learned about the different types of cybersecurity as well as their importance. Furthermore, you learned about cybercrime and cyber attacks. And lastly, you learned about the UK's cybercrime legislation. That's a lot of learning in just one lesson. We trust you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one.